So in today's video, Can-Am Dan's gonna share a couple things with you. The first is a fix for that drive shaft vibration that a lot of you have been experiencing. There's a fix at the dealership and also a wrap that goes around the drive shaft. You can pause the video here and get the details on that, but Dan will fill you in a little bit more about that. Now the second thing is a way to get your skid plate removable. So he's found a way to drill out all those rivets and then basically put in these zerts so you can put bolts in and remove it on your own whenever you want to. Okay, UTV boondockers. I know, I know, not everybody has an awesome shop like this. I don't own this. This is a great friend, thankfully. So we've got all the skid plates off. The dealership helped me out with that to get rid of all of those. Nice and easy. Uh, we're gonna put nut zerts back in. Got that from Marquad uh, uh, Engineering. I will send you a link or put a link in the story for that. Uh, everyone wants to know the vibration. Every single person wants to know the vibration. Here is Can-Am's latest fix. Installed by the dealer. Bearing support, it's a new bearing support. Uh, a new drive shaft. Uh, it's got cardboard in it. I didn't trust just the cardboard, so I bought the inch and five eighths water hose and had them throw that on there as well while they had it apart. They gladly did that for me. Um, zero vibration, absolutely gone, 100%. So go to your dealership, tell them that you want that. There's a bulletin for that, and there's a bulletin for that new drive shaft. And then go buy the $50 piece of hose and have them slide it on for you, and you will never have another issue again. Hey, real quick, I want to go through what you actually have to do to pull all of these off. So, uh, there's a ton of rivets on, under here. Let's get plates off. Let's get plates are over here. Uh, 7 30 seconds drill bit. Uh, kind of rotate the drill and the head inside there. Little, they pop right off. Came off super easy. As you will see, that all the skid plates are completely removed all the way to the back. And we did do a real quick dry run of one of the nut zerts right there. Works out great. Uh, 10 millimeter drill bit. Um, step drill is a lot easier, nice cleaner hole. Um, and we're gonna get after it, put all these things in, and then uh, I will show you uh, when we get all that done. Hey, I want to let you guys know there are a ton of bolt points. As you can see, all the all the uh, nut zerts are in. There you go. But there is a ton of them. So, fair warning. Get yourself a bunch of really good sharp step bits. Maybe even transfer up. Um, and then it wouldn't hurt to have two or three 10 millimeter drills as well because the step bits don't will not the bottom out if you will in some of these hey crew i just want to go ahead and finalize this video and get it all wrapped up um, we are done everything's great skid plates are all on couple suggestions one if you do uh get that uh from uh mark cad i believe it is i i, I mispronounce it every time and i really apologize that kit uh, get yourself some big fender washers as well. Um, those There's some areas in that skid plate that are pretty sloppy, definitely adjustable. Um, so you're going to want to put some fender washers on there. Also, do not let your dealer try to BS you that there isn't a bulletin on this. There is a bulletin. It's a full warranty bulletin. Um, don't let them be lazy. Uh, they're going to get paid for the fix anyway. So uh, take it in, get it fixed. Um, I'm super happy with it. Nice and quiet, does exactly what it's supposed to do. Uh, you'll notice from the videos that I did add the inch and five eighths uh, water, or the, the water line to it, the coolant line. Um, that I believe is probably worth 90% uh, of the fix, honestly, from what I'm hearing online. So you got it off, just have your dealer slide it on there for you while they have it off, or put a new one on. Uh, easy peasy. Uh, if you want to throw a skid plate back on it, go for it uh, with uh, with removable uh, uh, nut zerts. If you don't want to do that, um, you can just 
I rivet it right back on. It shouldn't be serviceable. I don't believe that for a second. I'm going to get underneath here. I'm going to grease things once in a while, and I'm going to be clean. So uh, I want access to it. Uh, I hope your project works out great for you. Uh, good luck. Make sure you like and subscribe down below. Uh, we've got more videos coming, uh, more exciting mods, and some, and some crazy adventures coming up real soon here. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.